Women's professional soccer is coming back to Boston. The team will play at White Stadium in Franklin Park, and the stadium is getting a multi-million dollar renovation. As WBZ's Louisa Moeller shows us, a greater Boston starts with a winning game plan for the neighborhood and the next generation of athletes. There's something about a heart-pounding drill with a teammate by your side and a ball in the net. What do you love about soccer? Um, so I've been playing soccer since I was like four, probably from the womb. For Nia Buyu and Lynn Larrabee, captains of the John D. O'Brien School girls soccer team, it's not just the physical joy of the sport, it's the emotional joy too. I think it's the best sport it's for like building friendships and bonds. Now there's big news in Boston as the city hopes everyone can bond over a new professional women's soccer team. On Tuesday, the National Women's Soccer League officially announced the team, which will kick off its inaugural season in 2026, the baby of an all-women's ownership group. I am proud to be part of an, an ownership group where 95% of the invested capital was invested by women and 40% was invested by investors of color. This is a unique statistic in professional sports. And the hope is to pump millions into the White Stadium in Franklin Park, giving it the capacity to seat 11,000 fans. Maybe this still looks like a dream, but the growth of women's soccer is real. From 2021 to 2022, the National Women's Soccer Team enjoyed a doubling of ticket revenue. And research firm NRG finds that women's soccer has the most momentum out of any sport in the country. Just take a look at the Angel City Football Club in Los Angeles, which has broken attendance records. But Boston has been down this path before. The Boston Breakers, the city's last pro women's team, ended in 2018 as it struggled to secure a buyer. NWSL says not this time. Their iconic talent and greatness was unable to shine because the world wasn't ready for it. The state of the league today is ready for it. The girls of John D. O'Brien are ready for it to watch women shining on a team like they do every day. I would love to go see one with my family, my teammates, my friends who don't even know what soccer is. I would love to take them. In Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. I think it's pretty exciting not only to have the team, but to see that stadium transformed. It's pretty great. Yeah, they're going to have a built-in fan base yeah. as soon as those games start. And plus three Louisa Moeller's watching. The game. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's strength in numbers.